l'atmosphère, ça. Surtout qu'elle l'adore, en fait. Ciao, sono Gizuke e sono il mid per il team Vitalga. Moje imię to Jakub, Jack Troskorzyński i gram pozycję wspierającego w team Vitality. Bin Gilius und ich bin der Jungler für team Vitality. Hola, mój nome jest Madeu, mini Trupax Carvalho, jestem tirador na ekipa dos Vitality. Salut, c'est Kiabo, je suis top player pour la team Vitality. Bonjour, je suis l'elf et je suis manager pour team Vitality. I am Yamaro Cannon and I am the head coach of Vitality. The players that I had a reputation with, they knew me as someone that could calm people down. They saw me as a person that uh, was always level-headed, had two feet on the ground and always kind of brought people together. You know, I played with Bjergsen, I played with Sven for a time, Mithy. All these three players, I played with them at the time when no one really knew them. Reckless as well, I played with them when he was very young and already then I saw that this guy is working hard, you can see him as well at all times. So, the, I was suggested by Nuktuk and Mr. Rales and Mithy, they told me I could be a coach because Riot basically announced uh, that uh, coaching would be a thing. They would have someone on stage and it would be a paid position and I was like, Okay, this is my way into a gaming house, this is my way of uh, finding an opportunity to work with League and maybe later I can transition into being a player, but I found a love for coaching. I wanted to become, be as prepared as I could, I researched my uh, favorite coaches in traditional sports, Jose Mourinho, Sir Alex Ferguson, Ancelotti, there's plenty of them that are amazing. And uh, I just realized that coaching is what I want to do. I found a love that I didn't know existed. I think it's amazing that you have an opportunity to affect uh, people on such a level because players as well, they're committing everything uh, into one thing. They're investing all their time, they're making sacrifices. There's uh, very little social life going on. There's very little uh, options to fail because you're committing so much and uh, being there to be a part of that, building a team and having a lot of responsibility on your shoulder, that is uh, what I like to do because at the end of the day, uh, I want to create a memory for players and I want them to be as good as they can be. I'm getting a business lunch. <laughs> <laughs> My exact job as a coach it really depends on player to player. And I try to make sure that there's a very healthy discussion about how we move forward. I involve the players and make sure that um, we all kind of pile our knowledge together into one pile. So it's not someone sitting with uh, one uh, idea and someone with a different. I'm trying to bridge the gap between the players. And uh, uh, the, the biggest portion I would say is uh, the connection with the players, making sure that the environment is uh, healthy. And I think this is uh, what is the most challenging because every person is so unique and different. You need to interact with them differently. You need to basically push them the right way uh, in order for them to kind of unlock this hardworking, disciplined player that is um, truly uh, the mold of a successful uh, esport athlete. I think uh, when it comes to um, like a player becoming good, I think it's a question of open-mindedness. I think it's a question of hard work. I think in the beginning it's a question of uh, the love for a game and the love for becoming better. And I think it begins there and the hunger and the motivation of a player. I think it shows in how a person plays. I think it shows in how a person progresses because if they have this hunger to become better and better, you can see it evidently in their play. I'm Peter and Limited Georgiev. I'm the coach for Vitality's academy team. The roster that we chose was built around motivation and every player in the roster wants to be the best version of themselves and I think we can build a really great team. Yeah.